Yo, it's Abby Jasmine. We out here. We at No Jumper right now. Adam preparing Adam your weapon. Adam filling up the clip right now. You know what I'm saying? We're about to get. She has a video on the channel that just dropped like a week ago. Watch that shit. It's good shit. But believe it or not, these things take USB charge these things. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> About to start. Yeah, here we go. Play the motorcycle. Thank you, Daddy. You want to spots on it. Little pre cum thing going on here. Girl on a motorcycle, like fucking Easy Rider, bro. You ever used to see that when you were a kid? Easy Rider. My friend's dad had it. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Yeah, that's good. I feel like I'm in a Taliban or something. <laughs> yeah, if you had this shit in New York, you'll probably get shot by the police. This girl has a gun. <laughs> but I have a gun too. But hers actually works. You want to demonstrate? Yeah. Do it. <laughs> actually, we just like lost like 400 bucks on this video because I just said gun a few times. I guess I'll probably pull up with the drink open. Love that feeling, man. I can see why people go to gun ranges and shit. Does, does this stop you or make you go? What do you do? I never had to think about it before. Oh, yeah. Hey, nigga. Ah! <laughs> What's up, bitch? Lime squad. Do you have anything against Kanye? Do you have anything against Kanye? Fucking Kanye the long way. He said a bunch of crazy shit, but you know. It's all good right I now. I wasn't really there for his political beliefs in the first place. So. Right. Sorry. Right. You went out to Wyoming though? Yeah. How was that? Was that fire? That was lit, yeah. Support your troops. Support the troops off the goop. Just took a 17 inch poop. Chris Long out the loop. It do what it do. 17 inch poop. And we smoking. Boop. And we drinking goop. What am I rapping like? I don't know. All right, guys. So I just want to tell y'all, there's a kid inside. He was part of a Fousey video, of a video where basically uh, Fousey told this kid that he was going to help pay for his college. I thought it was $50,000. Turns out it's only $6,000. But apparently, Yusuf ain't been texting him back. So he wants to tell his story. We're going to talk to him. I heard there's some F-U-C-K-S-H-I-T going on with uh, the Uber driver, too. The one who's standing on top of his Uber. Keep in mind, he told that dude he was going to give him 50 racks. I was just thinking about it. And I'm like, man, if I was this kid, he meets a famous YouTuber. He ain't never met a famous YouTuber before. This guy tells him he's gonna give him six grand, which he obviously does have. I can understand this kid's position. He was probably telling his parents and shit, like, oh yeah, I'm about to have this money to go to college and shit. It's kind of messed up. Let's go. Introduce yourself. Let us know who you are. So me, my name's Alan. I'm a soon-to-be college student. And I was the one that was in Fusi's video. So how'd you end up meeting Fusi? What happened? Pretty much, I was at the beach with my friends that day. I was on Instagram, and so I was like viewing the stories or whatever. And so I noticed that they were at the same beach, Santa Monica. So I was like, oh well, I mean, not really doing anything. You know, might as well go say hi or whatever. Completely not expecting to see Fusi too, where like his girlfriend and uh, Adam Sala and I forgot who else was there. Oh, YG. Yeah, he was there too. And so pretty much. YG. They, like, the rapper? No, YG, like one of their friends. Oh, I, don't even know. It, yeah. I am not surprised that YG wasn't there. They were in like a circle. Fousey's talking. He's kind of giving like his whole speech. That's when I came in. He was asking his friends around, like, share your dreams or whatever. If you go back and watch the video, you could see that's what happens there. And then his girlfriend kind of noticed, like, oh, hey, that kid's been here for a while. Like, come on, join us. So I was like, oh, cool. He asked me what my dream was. I told him, like, oh, I just graduated from high school. My goal is to like graduate from college because there's a lot of people that like, you know, kind of down me or whatever. And so at that point, he asked me if I work. I told him, yeah, I work. His exact goal was like, I'll give you $6,000 right now to quit your job and then um, focus on school. So then in, in my mind, I'm kind of like, like, wow, this is crazy. But at the same time, like, you know, I kind of know about him. So because you're thinking skeptical. like you never met somebody with millions and millions of YouTube subscribers and everything. So yeah, you're thinking this guy's got money. He probably might be serious. Why would you think like he's so popular that why would he be lying? Right. Thinking to myself like, OK, well, I mean, even if he is like this is going to get attention or like whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, uh, okay. Oh, he had me call my manager. He was like, oh, call your manager right now and quit on the spot. And I started calling my manager, but she didn't pick up. And so a few days after, I, I can't really remember. It's been like a while now, but yeah, she kind of asked me like why I called that day. And I was like, oh, well, I, I explained to her the whole situation. I was like, yeah, this is kind of crazy. But at the same time, like- So you actually did quit your job? Well, I haven't quit yet. I was always like skeptical about the whole thing from the very beginning. And that would have been pretty fucked up if you quit your job and then didn't even give you the thing he said 
said he was gonna give you, that would have been really messed up. And that's like actually what he told you to do. <laughs> <laughs> and like I've tried reaching out to him and his friends or whatever and nothing. Did you get his phone number or what? Oh no, and he even mentioned like, I, like if you go back and watch the video, he even said like, I'll give you my personal cell phone number or whatever. I mean, he never did that. But as he was walking away, I remember he said like, we'll be in touch soon or something like that. And so I was like, um, okay, I guess like I'll wait until he posts this video on YouTube and then I'll like try to get in touch. I waited and then I posted on Instagram and then like, yeah, still nothing. He's been promising a lot to a lot of people. Like that Uber driver that had the, yeah. the van that he was standing on. He told him he was gonna give him 50 grand. And he told him to job. quit his job too. Yeah. At least with a, being an Uber driver, you could just kind of stop doing it for a while. Like telling somebody to quit a job where they have a schedule is kind of more messed yeah. up. Putting Drake on a flyer when Drake isn't booked for the show is kind of fucked up because you know, Drake has a, a business to protect as well. Nobody feels that bad for Drake. Drake's already rich and stuff. Yeah. Him messing with you is kind of like, this is just a kid. Telling somebody to quit their job when they don't have another job lined up is like bad advice, I would say. I mean, I was gonna quit either way, so like, I think I'll be okay. But like, you know, I mean, the $6,000, that would be a blessing, you know what I mean? Somebody's gotta wanna help them out, right? Like, I could definitely throw in, but we, I think we could get some, we can get some people to help you out. Cause I think it's pretty messed up if like, you were promised something by like a really prominent YouTuber, and even though I didn't have anything to do with it, I still feel like through this video, some people are gonna see this and they're gonna be like, all right, let's do this or let's do that. And even if you go on Fussy's video, it, it says in the description like um I wanted to sit down with my friends or like discuss their dreams and so that's why at the end of the video I decided to fund this young man's college something like that I mean if you're gonna you know clickbait it up saying you're gonna do <laughs> yeah. all this good stuff and then you're not actually gonna do it I don't know I think we gotta call him out what's up Donnie tell us a little bit more about yourself because there's a lot of people who watch this that are out here in Los Angeles and you know use somebody talented out there like how old are you where do you live exactly and what are your skills at this point that you know of my name is Alan I just graduated high school. I've worked at Del Taco, okay. Kinda okay with Photoshop. I guess that's what I'm known, or I was known for in high school, like my Photoshop skills or whatever. You know, make memes or stuff like that. And that's actually what, what I do wanna like study in school, something around like graphic design or stuff like that. I'm really like into like the whole fashion thing. So, you know, maybe like something like that down the line in the future would be pretty dope to work with. Other than that, I don't really know what else to say. Oh, I don't blame you, man. You're early in your life, so it's yeah. like, people want you to describe yourself, it can be kind of hard. I have that problem when I interview really young rappers sometimes. They're like, what do you do? They're like, fuck, I don't know. Hey, I like Alan here. I'm gonna help him out. I got you on like some cash today and everything, but I feel like we're putting this out into the world. You know, Fusi, if you taught me anything, is that there's that law of attraction. You put something out there, you manifest it. So let's see if that happens, if we can manifest Alan a little bit of a better situation today. All right. So so I gave him some cash just to, you know, soften the blow of not getting his college paid for. And we just hooked him up with, with the, the most appropriate shirt. shirt. Hey! <laughs> so lit. Cool. We got yeah, a beanie you. and shit, so. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Thanks for having me. No doubt, man. Yo, Alan, Simi's right here holding you. She talked to you in person and took your information and promised you from heart to heart that I'm gonna give you the money. I had a meeting with my accountants today to talk about to wire all the money I need to, you know, wire. I'm sorry, brother, that I was busy, that I couldn't send you the money every single day, but I gave you a promise that day and I posted it for the world to see. You gave me enough respect to come to the beach, to listen to me and my friends and to come talk to us and be patient enough to listen. I apologize that my team dropped the ball and didn't send you the money the next day as they were supposed to, but I handled it today. Okay, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I gave that kid 200 bucks. His eyes lit up like he could not believe I gave him 200 bucks. That 6,000 must have seemed really tantalizing to him, but you know, he's a good kid. I hope that uh, we can make some good shit happen to him. I just wanna say, No Jumper has a Spotify playlist now. You can follow us on Spotify and I would really appreciate it if you did. The link is in the description. It's just the songs that I'm into, the songs that we're listening to with like everybody around here and everything like that. Bunch of good stuff on there right now. We're gonna be updating it like every week and a half, I believe. No Jumper, Spotify. And also, if there are any other streaming services out there that you guys really want us to have playlists on, maybe drop a comment down below. iTunes, LimeWire, Tidal. Anyway, I also just want to say, this shirt, see this? Look at Jason, good looking guy, no jumper shirt, dropping today. It's out right now. You can get this shirt. We got the hoodie or the uh, crew neck version as well. There's other stuff to just drop, right? We got these things that are available, nojumper.com right now. No you jumper want? logo hoodies 2.0, new right. version, new shit. There's a bunch of good stuff on there, so you guys should definitely, definitely check that out. All right, I just got off work. Found out about a Bad Baby and Scott Storch's little party that's happening at Dope tonight. Me and Chris are about to go check it out real quick. Yeah. 
Chris Long Films, you know what I'm saying? Adam 22, No Jumper, Rope Gang, you know what I'm saying? We're out here at the dope store. There's this dope ass event going on. I ran into my boy Chris, was everywhere, shooting everyone, putting out like quality work. Thank you for filming me, this means a lot to me. At Armin Collection. Yeah! Yo, play that shit. This is my shit right here, too. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. DJ Chris. Alright guys, today was lit. Me and Chris Song just came back from that pop-up. Worked my ass off today. And we're out, man. Rope gang.